We started this company five years ago with a very simple mission, provide great wines with great causes. In our first formal group meeting, uh, we sat and read a quote together by Margaret Med. that says, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful and committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. We've really taken it to heart and put it to work every day. We are a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens, and we do plan on changing the world along with you. We started at a table at our favorite restaurant, Mama D's in Newport Beach, and we were talking about uh, launching One Hope. It's a simple concept. We are committed to giving half of our profits towards different national nonprofits that were making direct impacts uh, to people in need. We had a Chardonnay that was going towards breast cancer, a Merlot towards AIDS, and a Cabernet towards autism. As we were talking about this, the uh, owner, Keith, came up and said, I, I didn't mean to be eavesdropping, but I heard what you guys were talking about, and I'm in, I think it's genius, and I'm gonna buy three cases. And we all kind of looked around at each other, and we realized, man, we don't even have any cases down here. <laughs> but it was that time that we decided, let's do this. And um, a few days later, we were driving 168 cases down to Southern California in a U-Haul truck. We just started selling out of the back of our cars. That's all we knew how to do was sell. That's how this company started, as a few inspired individuals. So if you think back to 168 cases in a U-Haul truck, and now today, to give you an idea, we'll sell about 60 to 70,000 cases, and we don't plan on slowing down. We plan on doubling again next year, as we have for four years now. We have been able to raise over $750,000 and donated uh, both cash and wine through the One Hope Foundation. We've helped hundreds of kids receive hours of ABA therapy uh, for severe autism. We've helped keep children alive with HIV and AIDS. We've helped getting uh, hundreds and even thousands, which we recently broke, of mammograms for women who couldn't otherwise afford them. And on and on the list goes. In 2010, we launched officially with Rob Mandavi Jr. as our winemaker. That was a huge turning point for us to be able to tell people that our commitment to the quality of our wine is as strong as our commitment to the cause. Moving forward, our goal was to empower others to do what we're doing in the wine industry. So in 2011, we launched Craft 1933, a platform for other wineries to sell wines and the winemakers to be able to choose their cause of choice. We launched Hope at Home to allow people to bring cause into the intimacy of their own home and hold wine parties where they can raise money for their cause of choice. And we launched One Hope Weddings so people can bring uh, cause and quality wines into one of their most special days in their lives. As we've developed this company, we've found that a lot of the founders within that first year or two had many family members and other friends that were touched by different causes and it's kind of what has guided us to look to make the brand bigger than just three causes or just five causes and really look to make it a platform for hope. It is pretty amazing to think that it's been five years now since we started this great company. As we look forward for another five years, we can only imagine and dream up uh, where we're going to be. It only gets us that much more excited about what the next 50, 100 years look like. We've developed from a bottle of wine into something a lot bigger than that. And that's because of quality partners, great teammates, and most of all, really great customers and supporters who have told our story. And on behalf of my friends and my coworkers at One Hope, I want to thank everybody out there who's allowed us to enjoy the last five years building our dream, a dream that serves others. And here's to another great five years and hopefully a lot more.